guys, SB64 here, and I was watching back through some old videos when I came across my top 10 Sonic Couches video that I made about two years ago. Looking back at it, I have no idea why I put certain characters in certain places, or why I completely missed out other characters that I find likeable. So today, I'll be giving an updated top 10 list of my personal favourite Sonic characters, this time including characters from the comics. Here we go! I can already tell what the comments are going to be based on this choice. But Nicole, he's a Sonic recolor! Well, yeah, he is. Scourge was first introduced in the Sonic Archie comics in issue 11 as anti-Sonic, but didn't become his green self until issue 160. Scourge, in my opinion, is one of the best villains in the entire series. He is just as fast as Sonic, just as powerful, and just as awesome. He is the full embodiment of what Sonic will be like as a villain, and it was always epic to see him appear in the comics. Sadly, he doesn't appear in the more recent Archie comics, but he had a pretty good run. Okay, now before you Shadow fangirls tear me to shreds, let me explain why I put Shadow so low on the list. Honestly, I have no idea why I put this character at number 2 last time. I mean, yeah, he's cool and all, and his backstory is one of the most developed in the Sonic series, but nowadays Shadow doesn't really have a reason to be a main character in the games. His arc involved with Maria and his past ended in the game Shadow the Hedgehog, so why put him on such a high pedestal when his main character arc has ended? I admit, I really like Shadow as a GUN agent and how he works alongside Rouge, but I just think that using him as fan service and shoving him into a series like Sonic Boom and really overplaying him as this edgy character is getting a bit tiresome. Shadow is an awesome character, don't get me wrong, but he is definitely overrated. Honestly, I don't know what I can say about Amy that I haven't already. Despite me often poking fun at this character, I do like Amy. She has a cute design and a polite personality whilst also having that crazy side to her. Amy Rose is a character that people either love or hate. For me, I love her. She's hilarious when trying to get Sonic to marry her, she can kick ass with her Pico Pico hammer, and she's always there to help out her friends. Whilst I don't ship on Amy, like, at all, Amy will always be a favourite of mine in the Sonic series. Acorn has been a favourite of mine for quite a few years now. She's smart, has a unique design, and can kick some ass. Sure, she's had her moments due to poor writing, but nowadays she's presented as a well-developed character, not to mention that she has a few funny moments with Sonic and his antics. I'm not entirely sure if I'd want her in the games, however, if she ever was in the games, I wouldn't be complaining too much. I mean, come on, she now has blades on her bracelets! That's fucking awesome! Silver is one of the more underrated characters, and isn't presented in the best way in the Sonic games. However, in the comics, he is written as a much more fleshed out character in comparison to his portrayal in Sonic 06. What I like about Silver is that he does make mistakes and does often question as to whether or not he's doing the right thing. Unlike Sonic and Shadow, who are always confident in what they're doing, Silver often goes to his friends for advice. Coming from a dystopian world, you would think that he would be broken due to all the chaos that he has seen, and all the friends and family that he has potentially lost. But actually, he is very calm, and always tries to focus on his goals in order to save the world. I admit, I would like Silver to have his own game. He's a character that I feel Sega really need to focus on, so let's hope in the future they do just that. Knock knock, it's Knuckles! <laughs> oh god, I hate myself. So in the original top 10 video, I stated how I like Knuckles when he's presented as the butt of every joke. 
Oh my god, how wrong I was. I mean, fucking boom knuckles are so stupid and the butt of every joke. And uh, I'm so sorry, modern knuckles. Please forgive me. I didn't realize how much I liked a more serious knuckles until I saw Sonic Boom. He's a character whose backstory is somewhat known, though he doesn't really guard the Master Emerald now. I have to say that my favorite rendition of Knuckles would be the one from Sonic X. He's serious and loyal to his job, but he does have a few moments where he acts gullible and loses his cool when being tortured by characters like Sonic and Rouge. I'm sorry, I know this one is all over the place, but please just give me some modern Knuckles again. I can't take Boom Knuckles anymore! Relic is a new character in the Archer comics who appeared in issue 63 of Sonic Universe. The reason why she's number 4? Well, because I can really relate to her. Relic is a girl who often geeks out over things that other people may not find as interesting. She's very energetic but does often get embarrassed when she feels like she's overreacting, which is a lot of the time. Also, <laughs> she is so British, it is marvellous, oh my god, she's just blast and jolly good and gracious and oh my god, this is so spiffing character, oh Jesus. My god, this guy right here is fucking hilarious. Bean was first introduced in the game Sonic the Fighters, though he pretty much disappeared from the games after that. In the comics, however, he was given an actual personality, and to sum it up, he is the Deadpool of the Sonic series. Bean is number 3 on my list just because of how insane and likeable he is. He often has a positive mindset, but that doesn't mean he's a good guy. He is one bad motherfucker, and that's what makes him more likeable in my opinion. After breaking the fourth wall and even sometimes being the voice of reason within his team, Bean is a character I'd love to see make another appearance in the games, alongside with the rest of Team Hooligan. Why on earth did I put Rouge at such a low spot last time? My god, what the hell 16 year old me? Rouge, as a lot of you know, is my favourite character other than Sonic. Ever since I was a kid, she was my favourite. Her sassy attitude, her design, her theme song, her loyalty to her friends, just everything about her I love. I don't know what else I can say about her that I haven't already said. I mean, my channel is pretty much full of Rouge the Bat videos. The only negative thing that I can say about her is that she's really underplayed in the games nowadays. I mean, she was a fucking main character in SCT for God's sake! Like I said, I don't know what else I can say that I haven't already. I love Rouge, plain and simple. Yeah, it's no surprise that Sonic is my number one favourite. It's Sonic. He's the main character. He's a douchebag at times, but he's a likeable douchebag. He's determined, snarky, and kind-hearted. He will do anything to stop Dr. Eggman from his evil schemes. Well, that's pretty much it. Which characters are on your top 10 list? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.